so dramatic in many countries, many people have died, you know. Uh, then dramatical economic situations in some places, people losing their jobs, people losing their businesses. Uh, over the last four years, during the Trump administration, uh, people, uh, people have been living uh, with a hardship in, in, in my country. So uh, life is very, has become very difficult here. We didn't have access to drugs, we didn't have access to, uh, let's say, medical equipment or facilities and things like that, and, uh, you know, this is one thing, and imagine uh, you are suffering from all those economic hardships, and now you are facing with some, something else. And particularly in, like, in poorer states, like Kosovo is, where they don't get much help from the government, you know, to, uh, uh, to compensate their, their losses, uh, that I'm worried about, really, indeed, yes. In, in Kathmandu right now, people are very selfish. If somebody come, you know, visit our family, yeah, another family, they suspicious he have a coronavirus or not. And uh, we uh, read a newspaper, a newspaper, one landlord do not don't allow their uh, people because they come from village they, they keep, just kick out and they go to one place and right now I think they, they go for the quarantine uh, before the virus uh, that it's really make me feel lonely and I don't know if you know a lot about Seattle but uh, people are really distant here uh, really it's really it's, it's called Seattle cold or Seattle freeze, something like that, but every it's a it's a big city. It's just everyone do their own thing. So it's lonely before and even lonelier now due to the virus. So. The only thing which makes my life not that easy at the moment is that I can't see my grandpa. I haven't seen him since the beginning of February and his um, health situation is not that good. I think it will be very big difference with before is uh, now we have to talk uh, with uh, arrangement or some someone only not not like the, the normal mm -hmm. we have to use face mask you cannot see uh, how how they, they they smile and maybe not not smile yeah yeah very 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 mm. Wait a second, wait a second, please, that your picture is still frozen. It's better to have eye contact. Because when I'm not okay with the situation and we argue about some important plans we have to, to talk about, it's so easy to take this red button and say the conversation is over. I remember 9-11, uh, my husband happens to be from New York, and we thought, I mean a lot of people in New York, they thought this was the end of the world, and it wasn't, I mean everything is back, we still speak about it, sometimes we watch, you know, like uh, flashbacks and then media coverage from the time, but it, it wasn't the end of the world, and this is not going to be the end of the world now. The communication level of all media, mainstream media, uh, since uh, the last 50 years, it's always 
going down and down. It's like sixth grade. Uh, so they're talking to us like children and more stupid children. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they think that we're going to believe it. You know, they still haven't realized that no, you have adults who are critically listening and thinking, well, something is wrong, and who are gonna, going to do their own research, especially on the internet. I mean, it's all open. Uh, uh, so uh, pe the, the aware people, they do their research, and very quickly, I mean, most people I know, they don't watch TV anymore. Yeah. No, I'm so annoyed having to, to pay this compulsory, it's like, you know, this license. I mean, I don't have a television, I don't watch television, I don't want to watch it, but I have to pay. The fastest source of news is internet. Uh, people, everyone have a smartphone and all of them have the access to the internet. So people would use it even more during this time. And um, news, that's the other thing, uh, newspaper. Uh, so many fake news, and but people just want to click and it's on the, the clickbait, that's what they call it. Everywhere you, you look, I mean, all these politicians, these puppet politicians, they, they have no idea if they have, uh, they hide it anyway. So it's all sort of like, like uh, things, same things, uh, like, like just now, yesterday, I learned, uh, you probably heard about this uh, uh, compulsory vaccine coming in the next weeks. Uh, where are we, you know? Uh, it could happen, I mean... Sh yeah, sure. Whether it's the right medication, we don't know. But as long <laughs> as, yeah, they, they, they want to sell. If you, if you know a bit about vaccines, it takes, it takes up to 10 years to develop a vaccine, and suddenly, oh, it's there. They've been one week, 10 days working on it, suddenly it's there, oh, yes. We are not talking about freedom anymore. Nobody has any kind of freedom that he or she used to have. So freedom is not the word that it's the most uh, important thing right now. Uh, but being healthy is the most important thing to be or think about right now. The only, you know, positive things from the coronavirus, the climate change, the, you know, the pollution, that kind of things, the only things, but the rest for me... All negative. All negative. <laughs> The, the climate is better. I'm telling you, we have polluted the world. Mm. I'm, I stay where there are birds chirping all over behind my compound here. I've never seen so many birds on the trees. Suddenly there is fresh air for the birds. The only thing which can, which I think, is that people now learn to do less uh, unimportant things like. Some people, they have to go to the European holidays every year or twice a year. They stay home. If you stay at your home, if you stay in Paris for a year, it's not a big deal, you will not die. So, less uh, pollution. Pretty much like really same thing kind of. It's just I don't think it was necessarily um, a positive positive thing to people's lifestyles, but it was um, definitely just beneficial for the environment. The environment, uh, nature, uh, has time to recover a little bit from our pollution. Um, it's very quiet, you know, but. I don't know if you see that positively or negatively, it reminds me more of a cemetery, you know. We have a very nice old town here in Brisbane where I live, and normally it's full of people, particularly when the weather is nice, full of cafes, bars, restaurants, lots of people going out, and at the moment it looks like in a, yeah, like in a dystopian movie, you know. You would Not be in that corona. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pollution here before, uh, we couldn't wa walk uh, 
without the mask also here in Kathmandu before there's a lot of traffic. So now we can uh, feel the fresh air and even my friends, they are uh, telling that it's like uh, 40 years ago, the era like this. Consumerism um, is, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately uh, very much popular uh, these days in the world, not only in my country, Iran, but also around the world. So uh, consumerism, uh, you know, I, I, uh, the coalition between consumerism and capitalism, uh, you know, they have uh, ruined uh, the environment and uh, the nature. We are just one and the same. We are people, we are human beings. What affects me? in Africa, affects my brothers in Asia, affects my sisters in America, affects our children in Australia. I mean, the world has been unified into one. And it has made me think and reflect that if we cannot reconnect physically, how else can we connect? <laughs> What I did at some point, I just, I opened the windows here in Amsterdam and I sat in the, in the opening and um, I just sang for the neighborhood. And there were people opening their windows on the other side of the street, street and listening or making a video or, and it's not about me wanting the applause of the people. It's not about that. It's about sharing. Um, and suddenly, yeah, you feel connection. I go to um, DC and my wife goes to um, Baltimore. So um, we both uh, take commuter train. So uh, like, you know, to catch the train, we were more in a rush. Now it's a more relaxed and then, um, uh, and then we have a more time uh, for, all, for us. The most important is you have time uh, for your family, for your family. Uh, think that uh, if you are, uh, if you go to the office all day and je uh, just pick up the uh, children from school to home and then um, let them to have dinner and then go to sleep. If you don't have a time to talk with them. Yeah. It's my... Uh, hey! Sweetie! Say hello. Say hello. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. Are you happy that the dad is at home? Yeah. 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 Oh, that is great. Dad is not going to work and can play with you, right? Yeah. My family, we're very lucky because my husband and I, we still work and our daughter is older. She can do all her school things online and we live in a nice house and we have space around us and um, we are, I mean, we are very lucky personally. So you, you, you just, you start enjoying being at home more. You have fewer distractions. You don't go out. To spend their time with their family and the kids that I have a kid so I'm spending my time uh, with her each and every day and I'm enjoying with her so that might be a positive sign for me and the people uh, similar to like me as usual I do my work my wife do she's work she's make her food and my daughter paint and my daughter do, uh, she's homework, 
and I think at, at that time I think it's it's a perfect picture. But now I I, I don't think so. I think now we have to to do something together. You know, together. I I I I, I feel it's very very interesting. What now I have uh, I have to play my daughter game together. All my family. It means that uh, people never pay attention yes. to the family life and yes. their little things brought the people mm -hmm. the same place together and you gave me wonderful uh, uh, image that is kind of colorful painting yes. Yes. everybody is doing something together mm -hmm. Wonderful yeah. example. Okay, my motto in life is adapt or die. I'm very positive. I'm a very positive person. I turn everything that is negative into a positive thing. I always find, um, I always look at what good can come out of this. So this is how I go about life. So maybe now we're at home, we have more time with the family, um, but as I said, we can stay connected via the internet. And there are so many things that can be done, that can get done without us being physically in a place, in a special location, in a special workplace. So people need to embrace that, need to know that, you know what, this time will pass. So in the meantime, what do we do? At a personal level, uh, for instance, there I have, uh, now this is different from the family aspect. I also have, a, a, that is a group of people that I work with. And most of the times we have to be physically, they are, they are all the people. But it took a bit of time to teach one of us to use the Skype. It is something they have never used before. And we had a good meeting, and it was a very good, uh, that is, a, uh, he usually relies on me to teach him how to work with the technology. And when we were able to do our business using the Skype, which is something he has never used before, he was very pleased and he said, I never knew this could happen without us having to meet over here. So I think that was something positive. Somebody learned something new in technology and appreciated that it's possible to do a lot of work when you're not meeting. Physical meeting is not that important anymore. Mm. I think it will be a lot easier from now onwards to be able to work from wherever you are. And you see, right now we are using a mobile phone. I don't even need to have a computer. The phone, and I can move with it from wherever. And these services are everywhere. So he was fascinated by the fact that we were able to accomplish that. Manu, for me, really, um, this has made us a fun time for others. We've been running up and down, busy with ourselves, with our own lives, you know, not knowing what's going on in someone else's life. But here we are, we have been told, stay where you are. We have the time, we have the space in our homes. We can now reflect. We can now reflect and think about others. You know, we have time for them. We never had time for anything, I'm telling you. For me, this is a wake-up call that we need to reconnect more, especially during this time. You know, every, everyone's in the new year, they're going to have like new year resolution. But, but, but for me, uh, I was thinking about it, and I think that um, there's always reason not to do it, you know, and now all the reasons. 
all those reasons is gone. You only have yourself in the room. You cannot. There is no more excuse. This is nice. It, <laughs> it, makes, it makes your home homey. And I don't know, like, like I, have, I have something else. I have something else I need to show you. Who needs this? Oh God. This is ceramic. It doesn't have a purpose, but it's nice. It, it, it's, yeah, and I like to put it in my house and I'm caring about them now because I, yeah, this is, it, it keeps me occupied. I have the time for it. <laughs> What are you going to do first when the little thing disappeared, gone, dead? Um, it's a good question. 